Hey, welcome back, everyone, for some more of the 2022 FIFA World Cup here with Germany and FIFA 23. And we are going to the World Cup Finals. We are taking on France. Into Joshua Kimmich alongside Karim Benzema. Which Benzema didn't even play in a World Cup this year due to injury. You can see Mbappe and ben Benzema and the newly retired Hugo Lloris celebrating the victory against France. You see Timo Werner with a man of the match performance against Brazil, which honestly in that game it should have gone to Sané. But Timo, Timo Werner, a big part of why this team's performing the way that they are. But uh, before we get started here, hopefully you guys have an awesome day today. Hopefully you guys are doing well. So without further ado, we're going to get into this match here against the French. They're playing a 3-5-2 formation with Hernandez, Varane, and Zuma in the center-back trio uh, ahead of Luis. Um, I think that's Teo Hernandez. Lucas Hernandez is a center-back. Teo is out wide on the left alongside um, Diaby, Musa Diaby out in the right midfield. Um, Conte and Chouamani in the midfield. Griezmann playing as a center forward behind Mbappe and Benzema. I am keeping the kits the way that they are. I like how the teams look, so Muller is the captain. This is our strongest starting lineup, so without further ado. If we win today's game, we will be tied with Brazil for the most World Cup titles in history. See both teams warming up. But here we go, the World Cup final here in Lucille Stadium, Germany versus France. France going for their third World Cup title, Germany going for their fifth. It's amazing with all the injuries that they had. That France very nearly repeated as world champions. That just shows you just how deep that French team is. And they definitely have to be among the favorites to win in 2026, surely. Assuming everybody stays healthy and gets healthier. Nice steal by Gundawan. Okay, Mabry. Okay, crossing it to Goretzka. As he scores the first goal in the World Cup final. That's only a second goal of the tournament. The first goal he scored happened to be the first goal of the tournament for Germany. Okay, let's see. Nice steal once again by Gundogan. Man, I, I made a good decision putting him in, in center mid. Ah, that's not a good cross by Nabry. Mm. 
Rudiger. It's Levi Sane bowling it at home. Yeah, it sounds like he's saying Sunday instead of Sane. Kind of a dangerous passer, but I am going to go ahead and hit, jump in the sim. Of course, where the white circles, they are the blue squares. Oh, off the word work? Could have made a three there. Let's see what their bench looks like. They got Magnon in there, Lucas Digne, Paul Pogba, Visa Ben Yedder, Ferland Mendy, Adrian Rabio, and Anthony Martial, which they get a goal back to Mbappe. Okay, forcing a corner. Oh, Goretzka ended up... I thought he missed. Goretzka going on a brace here. As Goretzka scores a... Uh, restores a two-goal lead. Come on. Very dangerous giving Mbappe that kind of space and that kind of time. As we're approaching half, if, if we can not concede here right before halftime, I'll be happy. Neuer with the save. If we if we can hold on here right before halftime, I'll be happy. Come on, let's be smart. Nice run. Can we make it four? No, actually. We have time, we have time, we have time, we do! Timo Werner gets a goal right before halftime. And you have to feel that we have one hand on the trophy already. So what looked to be very close to being a 3-2 match going into the halftime ends up turning into a 4-1 match. I'm not going to make any substitutions until around the hour mark, and then I think I'm going to... I'll take off Sula, I'll take off Realm. Might take off Gundogan. I don't know though. Okay, can we make it five? Eerie silence. Yeah, I'm I'm making substitutions. Gunduan can make way for Musiala. Schlotterbeck can come on for Sula. Okay. Hmm. Kind of wish I would put Gosens in there instead of Baku. I am going to give him a game though, even though he's a right back. Hopefully he can play it out on the left. He does have four star weak foot, so. But yeah, I'm going to put Baku, Schlotterbeck, and Musiala in there. And we'll just go from there. So Timo Werner and Leon Goretzka going on a brace here. Can we make it six? Can we make it like a, a Germany versus Brazil? Thomas Müller, the captain? Yeah, this is turning into Germany versus Brazil 2014 part two. Okay, Timo Werner, he gets a yellow card. I don't want him suspended. So I'm going to put Havertz in there. So Werner is not going to get a chance at a hat trick, sadly, because I don't want him suspended. 
Good defense there. Ah, oh, have it. Have it, have it, have it. Chelsea has ruined you. Mbappe, the only player rated in the green for France. Okay, come on, Havertz. You have speed. Okay, Mula with a good pass to Kimmich. Then we got a 7-1. Nabry with the goal. This is turning into Brazil versus Germany all over again. Um, Havertz too heavy of a touch there. And I think I'm just going to keep the ball now. Because I kind of want to hang on to the score line. But yeah, this is pretty much a repeat of what Germany did against Brazil in that famous match in 2014. It was the semifinals in Brazil where they knocked out the host 7-1. I think every football fan knows exactly where they were at and what they were doing during that game because that was definitely a one-in-a-billion match. I know this is not really exciting to watch, but... But yeah, we were able to repeat it here against uh, the reigning champions at the time. Well, I'm, I mean like right... Oh, bad pass. Why is Serge Nabry man of the match? But we're getting the stoppage time here. France, the reigning champions, what I mean, uh, 2018. Of course, losing in real life, and they're going to lose here in Brazil style. As Germany ends up tying the Brazilians for the most World Cup titles in history. And Germany is on top of world football once again. It just occurred to me that Mario Goetze is not on this team. Which is sad because he did score the winning goal in the 2014 World Cup against Argentina as Thomas Mueller lifts the trophy. And what could... It, which I'm still... I, I, I need to look it up, but I'm pretty sure he did announce his international retirement. So in his last international game, Thomas Mueller lifts up the World Cup. German fans hoping they can see this again, once again, in the not-so-distant distant future, though. 2014 does seem like eons ago for them, but I do remember that World Cup very well. I know a lot of talk around that time was messy, but my goodness, that ball control that Mario Goza had in order to score that winning goal in extra time was something else. But yeah, we pretty much dominated in every category except corners and free kicks. We had better dribble success rate, we had better shooting accuracy, we had better passing accuracy. I was only ex honestly expecting France to be more of a challenge for us, but I'm glad they weren't. Man of the match was Serge Nabry with a goal and two assists, though Timo, I mean, Thomas Muller ended up getting a goal and two assists, so... I, think Na I didn't think Nabry played that good, to be honest. But Kimmich with the two assists... Of course, Leon Goretzka scoring more goals in this game than what he did the entire tournament beforehand. Mbappe with a goal, Benzema with the assist. Nobody really doing anything else on this French side. This German side that I put up here against the French did the job beautifully. But yeah, Germany have won their fifth World Cup, which ties them with Brazil for most in World Cup history. Argentina finishing third, Belgium finishing fourth, 
And we are the champions. You can see Goretzka nets a brace. Very good tournament for him. Okay, let's see. Argentina and Germany, with the exception of Mbappe for France, dominating the team of the tournament. Rudiger, Goretzka, and Werner getting for us. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Argentinians in there. So there's a bit of an Argentina bias going on there. Edison getting goalkeeper of the tournament, even though we versed Allison in the match we played against Brazil in the... What was it? The quarterfinals, I believe. Did we play them in the quarterfinals or did we play them in the semis? No, we played uh, Argentina in the semifinals. Um, Werner getting player of the tournament. Joshua Kimmich posing with the World Cup trophy. Germany going back home to Berlin. And of course, stunning displays from Leon Goretzka. Look at player stats. Timo Werner has a, as many goals as what Lautaro Martinez and Kylian Mbappe did combine in only six matches. Sané with the five, Draxler with the four, Nambri with four. Top assist goes to Nambri with eight, Thomas Muller with five, which is very impressive. Neuer with just the one clean sheet, Ter Stegen unable to keep a clean sheet. And a recap of the tournament. Any particular group that you're interested in, you can just go ahead and pause the video. But some of the groups going like they did in real life, some of them did not. But I will say that next time I'll see you guys, I will be playing as a qualifying team. And it will not be a vanilla tournament like this one was. But uh, I'm going to be playing as a team that qualified that has never won the World Cup for, before. Just to give you a little bit of a hint. But uh, you can see round of 16 right here. Quarterfinals. Which we did beat Brazil in. How the heck did Edison get goalkeeper... At the tournament. Only playing like what? Four matches tops. I don't know. But yes. As somebody that has a soft spot for German football and it's hurt. I'm so glad I was able to take this team to World Cup glory once again. Like I said it's very weird seeing them get knocked out of the groups. That, in the past two tournaments. I feel this team is way too good to be knocked out of a group. Personally, but it is what it is. I'm not sure if it's the the players, the formation, the, the coaching. I don't know what's going on in the German national team, but something has to happen because this team is just too good to be mediocre like they are right now. But um, hopefully changes will be ahead for this German side, and hopefully for the fans, they'll have something to celebrate in the future. But uh, at least for a video game, it's nice to see them win the World Cup once again. But... Um, yeah, I had a lot of fun with this team, and hope you guys had fun watching this, and hope you guys are looking forward to the next nation I'll be playing as, but, um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. I'll be seeing you guys again next time.